Do you remember what your first experiences playing League of Legends were? Was it similar to stumbling upon a random montage on YouTube? Or maybe some friends convincing you to download the game. I remember when I first started playing the game back in season four with a bunch of my friends. We knew the game's community was toxic. You can thank Watch Mojo's toxic games community tier list at the time for that, but the game looked super fun regardless of the community. We all excitedly created accounts and started playing bot games to learn how to play. It took almost no time for my group of friends and I to be totally addicted to the game. Playing for hours on end, all of us being in TeamSpeak or Kerr's voice, having a great time with each other. I feel like most OG players had similar experience when joining League. Starting off with a big group of friends and having a ton of fun. The game itself had so many different things you could do. You could play Norm slash Ranked on Summoner's Rift, A-Rams on Halloween Abyss, 3v3 on Twisted Treeland that also had a ranked mode, or Dominion on Crystal Scar. There was no shortage of content to keep all of us occupied. As I'm an insanely competitive player, my primary focus was on ranked. All I wanted was to be the best in my selected role. I would watch a ton of videos every single day to learn how to get better from creators like Nightblue3, Trick2G, I Will Dominate, or some for fun content from Ross Boomsocks, Dunky, Magic Carp Use Fly, or Bricky just because I genuinely loved and enjoyed the game. League of Legends was the main reason why I even started streaming back in 2015. Holy crap, I'm so old. My thought then was I wanted to make friends and since I was already playing League, why not stream as well? Hello, my name is Mike or Dark Sword, and like I said, I've been mainly making League of Legends content for the past seven and a half years, primarily on Twitch, but more recently, other platforms. Quick little plug, if you're not following me on Twitch, what are you doing? I was able to make some long lasting friendships while being a part of the league community, whether that be from streaming or meeting people from other creators or even in the game itself. I feel like this is a universal experience for players who have been around as long as I have, if not even longer. Fast forward to today and every single one of my original friends that I started playing League of Legends with has now moved on from the game with some even refusing to open the game. Who else has experienced this? Are you one of the last of your original friend group to still be playing the game? What on earth has happened? How did the game go from this flourishing and exciting game to a, a stale, barren wasteland that, that it is today? Well, the short answer is Riot Games. Now, I know we all like to meme and throw the blame on Riot for just about anything. You miss an easy skill shot on the enemy? Riot's fault. You queue up with teammates that are sniffing glue? Riot's fault. You forgot to fill your carp with gas? Also Riot's fault. Whoa, 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 don't worry though. We absolutely have to trust them. They have a collective 200 years of game experience between all of them. On a more serious note, the downfall of League of Legends is mainly a result of Riot's absolutely horrible leadership and game direction. Over the years, Riot has slowly gotten rid of the plethora of game modes and evergreen events and has opted to focus more on competitive play, whether that be ranked or pro play. For Riot, League of Legends is fading into obscurity and games like Valorant are more important in their eyes. We can see that Riot is legitimately just farming microtransactions over investing into their actual game content and quality with for example, this new gin skin that can cost up to $200? In the last two years, Riot has released over 200 skins that average about $10 each. And what have we gotten in return? One new game mode this year. On top of these really cringy money grabbing ploys, there's almost no rewards for playing the game. The only rewards you really get for playing is blue essence, which could be used to buy champions or to be used in the blue essence emporium. If you own all the champions, like I do, or own all the Imperium items, like I do, you just basically have this huge stockpile of blue essence that is totally useless and you can't use to buy anything cool. Yes, you can earn keys and chests, but the rate you earn them is so slim that it's insignificant. They never hold events where you can earn double key fragments or a chance to earn a double chest for S rank because that would prevent people from buying skins. Every event, Riot hosts a battle pass, yet another money grabbing ploy. For the player who wants to earn a special skin that they want. 
There is no way to earn that for free. You have to spend money. You guys remember when bugs and glitches were fixed within hours of them being reported? Not waiting several weeks for patches or God forbid, not having issues using the client. They are constantly downsizing the teams working on the game and the turnaround times for simple bug fixes take forever. The entire game mode development team was scrapped and moved to TFT, but why? We as players went from having so many great things to do in game to being reduced, to brushing our head against the wall, suffering from the cesspool that is ranked or playing a rank. You don't like those two game modes? Well, too bad. Just hand over your wallets and get this cool luck skin. I, as a player, wouldn't be totally upset with all these cosmetic add-ons to the game if the quality of the game was still there. There are massive issues with the game that make the game just unenjoyable for the average player and even other content creators. There really isn't any diversity in item builds anymore. You need to pick a mythic and follow a generic item path from there. You used to be able to mix and match and create some crazy builds Depending on the game, now you can't. There are so many large creators leaving the game because it just isn't fun anymore. You can only win and lose so many rankings before your mental snaps. Like, why would I grind out 10 games of rank that I can only play with one of my friends if I decide to risk my MMR when I can play a game like Boulder's Gate and not be told to end myself or get flamed by some total random? So. What does the future hold for League of Legends? How does this affect the average player? Well, in my opinion, it's not looking that great. I would speculate the game itself has a couple years of life left unless something totally drastic changes. It's really unfortunate because I truly love this game and I want to see the game brought back to the season four through six hype that it once had. It honestly wouldn't be too difficult for a billion dollar company like Riot Games to inject some adrenaline back into the game and its community. In my opinion, bringing back the variety of game modes as well as getting rid of the stupid mythic item system would be a great start. This would give players more diversity instead of locking them into one item path. On top of that, bringing back the tribunal system for the game would be a great addition. The game's community has become too poisoned and needs a much needed cleansing. What changes do you think Riot needs to implement to save the game? Do you agree with my points here? I know that I'm not the first person to talk on this issue, but I'm hoping that my perspective at least brings some of these issues to light. I'm gonna start doing more of this video essay format on my YouTube channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.